in order to organize the data, the tables into columns and rows. Then to start analyzing for it, we need to have data in a very modified and in a very structured way. For that, what kind of query that we have to write and what kind of transformations that we have to do, what kind of analysis that we have to do, how to create the stage and how to create the file format object and how we have to work with the data. Hi, I am M. Asif Hussain from Know How Academy. What are we going to learn in this video? We are going to learn and understand how to create the paraquid data and how to create the stage and we are even going to learn how to create the table or how to create the data and work with loading the paraquid data in Snowflake. By the end of this video, you could able to get a very clear idea how we have to write the query in order to create or replace the data, in order to create or replace the stage, in order to create a table and work on this one. So watch till the end. My dear viewers, here I have a particular uh, file format object and in this file format, if I would like to have, see in the very first managed database that I have, I already have some file formats. Alright, I already have some file formats. Now in this one, I would like to create one another file format. So for that what I am doing, create or replace file format. Either you can just write create, replace is not required. So create or replace file format in which particular database, in my manage database, I am creating my file format. So now what type of file format I am creating? I am creating paraquid type of file format. So for that, let me go and create this particular first. If I execute it, we can see that file format, paraquid format is successfully created. So let me go and execute this one. We can see that under file format, we have this paraquid format. Now what I am going to do, I have created the file format, that's fine. But all this, what all I am doing under this paraquid format, in what particular stage I have to do? that I am going to assign or create it here. So for this, I am creating the stage, okay, already I have a database and in this database, I am already under external stage dot paraquid stage. So this is my URL for where I can get the particular data from it. So now I am going to create this one. So when I create it, you can see that the stage area, paraquid stage is created. So if I go to external stage and under the stages, we can see that I have got the paraquid stage. Earlier I had the AWS stage. So what all the things that I would like to connect with it as part of a cloud server, I could go and use it AWS here. So now what I am doing, I am just creating another stage which is a paraquid stage here. So now, as soon as I have created this stage, so let me go in as I am showing you this link and this is the Snowflake Paraquid demo data that I have created it in my AWS. So that link, I'm just getting it here and I'm creating it as part of my Paraquid stage. So now if I would like to see, let me go and see the list. I mean, if I would like to view. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm just executing list manage database dot where do you have it under external stage dot where do you have it paraquid stage but that's how you have to represent the location all right if you do not want to represent like this or i can just even tell in this way like if you do not want to represent like this if you can go back and you can just place name in the order you can get hit here okay so if i execute it you can see that okay sorry let me have the red symbol here okay so if you can see the list if i execute it we can see that the name the size okay and when it was last modified so everything is available here okay so now i can tell confidently that my particular stage paraquid data has loaded with the data that i have created now let us see what are the number of columns or what kind of data that we have it under that. So in the part of SQL, as we use select star from table name, and in the same way here also we have to use select star from uh, database name, then the stage name. So for this, what I'm doing, I'm just using this one and click on execute. And as you can see that the snowflake query that I would like to retrieve it, I mean, I would like to fetch the complete data. So for this, what I have done, I have used a select star from. Now the location, either directly you can keep 
the place name in editor with advert symbol at the first then we can execute it so under manage database under external stage and under the paraq which stage i have my data now my dear viewers as you can see that the data that you have it here okay so this we have to make sure that it is structured as you can see that it is not structured this is my dollar one okay that's that's the name that i have given it to my column and after that you have multiple uh, columns in it as you can see that there are some names and there are name, date informations and all these things so now it is our responsibility now to make it in a very organized way so for this i am writing file format in a query here so as you can see that i am creating a stage okay so under the url what i have taken above here okay so let let me go and create a file format object here so let me go and execute it as soon as i executed you can see that the stage area it is successfully created okay so now as you can see that paraquet format it is created so now i would like to retrieve every information star i would like to retrieve every information from my particular stage paraquet stage okay and where is the location of it under the manage database under the file formats we have the paraquet format so from this i would like to retrieve my data that i have it here okay so as you can see it here we can see that okay when it the select star from manage database so i can see that the every particular column that i have it here that i have created it now if you would like to omit the codes okay as you can see that hobbies okay in the output in a column i should get only hobbies h o b b i e s i do not want to get the double codes okay so as you can see category id i don't want to get the double codes okay so in order to omit all these codes in the name space that it is given so how you have to omit it you know that's another important task that you have to consider so now let me use this manage database so what i am telling to snowflake is that i would like to use this manage database file format and under that under this manage database file format i would like to omit the codes and i would like to do rest of the things so that we are going to do it here the statement executed the statement executed successfully so now let me go and retrieve this one as you can see that the entire uh, database or the columns that we have it in the my particular uh, file format that we are going to uh, get it here okay so we have got our uh, the result so now let us go and create the stage so manage database external stage paraquet stage under the uh, data that i have it here so let me execute it the stage area is successfully created now let us go and see the syntax now let us go and see the syntax of no querying the unstructured data so let me just explain it to you what exactly is here as you can see i have a select statement okay under this what i am doing i am writing some columns so the columns if you see here index level if you would like to represent the index level with some empty spaces here in between either you could go with the underscore okay without the double quotation and even it can be also written by writing the double quotations all right in the same way i am writing the rest of my columns category id date department id product item id okay category uh, state id and product store id the values so i would like to you know uh, write all these uh, columns from which particular uh, stage from my paraquet stage that i have created so if i execute this one you can see that the columns that i have created for the rest of the um, for complete the stage paraquet stage that i have created that we can execute it here all right now as you can see that the the informations that you have it here okay so you can see that the category state id the product id okay so the category id so there are multiple informations and as you can see the date here okay as you can see the date is this a date format okay is this a date format this is how a date can be written 1338422 no okay so the date we have to convert it okay so we are not getting the date in a right way we are not getting the date in a right way okay we have department ids and all so few of the columns there are null informations as well here okay so now let's go and convert the date so now let's go and convert the date so as you can see i'm just retrieving select one select one what it is giving me it is giving me one okay but now 
now if I write the date function here it will give us the starting date from 1970 1st January 1970 right so for January 1970 in the same way for this month okay for this uh, 1st January 1970 I am going to add one more date so it means that 2nd January 1970 so for that if I would like to execute it I will write to have the syntax so select date then you can see that 2nd January 1970 so for this one if I would like to even multiply with 365 I mean I am adding one more year to it so then you can get 1971 1971 so this is how a date can be written or converted so now let us see the conversion level okay as you can see my dear viewers here what i am doing is that i am making sure that every particular column so without the double quotation in the hobbies and without the particular date format so we are we have seen the output so now with the proper date format and with the proper column without the double quotations that i would like to see it in the output so for that what i am trying to do here here what i am trying to do is that i am selecting all those columns okay but i am giving the alias name here i am giving the alias name here so the same columns with the data types that I am giving it. Now when I am assigning the data type with the alias name, we have to get the uh, output with the desired way. I mean in the date, in the date format, in the column in a column format. So let's go and execute that. So I am just creating and uh, no, selecting everything and executing it. All right. So now as you can see, okay, the date earlier we had some one three three four eight two. Now the date is in a proper date format. Okay. So now you can see the ID number, okay. So we have multiple things here, right? So index level, okay. Everything is properly assigned, you know, everything is properly assigned. This is ID, okay. Item ID, state ID, store ID, okay. So these are all null uh, as of now. So the date, as you can see, we have converted the date, okay. The date conversion, we have successfully made it. Earlier, the date conversion was some in some other way. And now we have it successfully done it, all right. So my dear viewers, as you have seen that how we have to uh, work on this particular snowflake by creating a paraquit stage and all. So in this video, we have learned how to create a file format. We have even learned how to create a paraquit stage. We have learned how to write a table. We have written how to retrieve the multiple columns in a table. We have also learned how to convert the date, you know, in a proper date format and all these things in Snowflake. So thank you for choosing Nohab Academy as your source for IT knowledge. We are always here to help you to navigate the tech world. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out. It's been a pleasure sharing this information with you. Stay curious and keep learning.